Victor Fire Ant Queen has landed on the edge of a swamp. She may be far from her native habitat, but the Fire Ants are well known for their ability to adapt. Competition for food will be fierce. She will need to raise an army quickly to compete with the local predators. So what you want to do is you want to choose the Fire Ant that um, has the speed uh, buff, not the one that can spawn with zero food, but the one that can, uh, upon hatching, they basically spawn in with buffs. It's viable. It's viable. Like, extremely viable. It's very overpowered. Um, especially when you're going out and attacking the um, the other colonies, mind you. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get the food sources up here. Now, I've already beaten this once. Um, and at first it was very, very, very difficult. Because I had no idea what the heck I was doing. But now that I'm... I guess... Um doing it well now that i've already done it i can officially say that i'm i'm better you know so i can let these guys move in through here um you also do not want to piss off the um the colony that is left of you the the i can't think of their names right now but the colony with the big heads let them come to you always let them come to you never go the and attack their stuff first the shadow of a great titan to the north an american bullfrog this large female has found the perfect spot to feed sheltered by foliage and in the path of many wandering insects and smaller amphibians she has no reason to move on Hey, what Eventually, you want to do. she will need to be displaced. But for now, the fire ants have more pressing business to attend to. Now, what you want to do is you want to take your colony really fast, since you got a speed buff now and a fighting buff as they quickly take out this green um, jumping spider. Lisoman huh? Veridis has ambushed a fire ant. It prefers to hunt on foliage, where it is less likely to be spotted by predators and prey alike. Uh -huh, thank Out you. on the ground, it's more vulnerable, but that won't stop it from snacking on lone ants far from the safety of the nest. Uh-huh, thank you. So, Defenseless caterpillars okay. exposed on the underside of leaves are a welcome snack for the passing fire ants. The colony should take advantage while it can. Few meals surrender so willingly. So as I was trying to say... You want to grab this spot as fast as possible, because eventually this colony, the big bull ants, they will, they'll come over here and take that stuff, and you need that as soon as possible. Um, now we've got a little bit of stockpile, we're going to go ahead and uh, attack these guys, and then probably move on to this group. But since you have this speed buff, the this buff, a group of hungry checkered beetle larvae. it takes them out relatively fast. But they have big jaws and appetites to match. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and lower his audio. I feel like I can, can I? Yes, I can. So anyway. Basically, what you want to do is kill those guys, and then make a few more, and then come up here. And since they have the speed buff, they are they can attack really fast, and they can attack very powerful. I I want to say it's two times the amount of damage and speed that they normally do. Obviously, I don't know the exact percentage, but damn, it really puts in the uh, work. It is 100% worth it. colony of Fadele Moisi big-headed ants have established themselves on a hill to the west. Scavenging for seeds, aphids, and dead insects, they are unlikely to pose a threat to the Invicta colony if left undisturbed. Yeah, that's the colony that you want to avoid as much as humanly possible. What we're going to do next, there's a green beetle there. You want to avoid the green beetles as long as possible. Really not wise to fight them, like at all. 
Um, because a they're armored and they take hell of a lot to take down because they will kill your guys quickly. Not enough food to feed the new brood. Um, we'll go ahead and move these guys here so we get some extra food going in. What I want to do is get this colony over here. If you have a window of opportunity after what you've done here, take it. Take it out. Many of the milkweed plants growing nearby are infested with Hopefully we don't get overrun here. Honeybee excretions present an ideal energy rich food source for the fire ants. Aphids far from the nest are vulnerable, however, and are sometimes relocated closer to home where they can be better protected from predators and thieves. See, that speed buff is just everything. Let's see. Now, we'll shorten these video this video out. Um, and we'll cut out most of this. And only give, like, the link. Unless, um, I could probably do an uncut version. Which I might. Um, but I probably will cut out some useless stuff. I want to get this, but that guy right there is going to be a big bother. And we need more um, units for this as well. We have 17 um, ants. This should be able to take out a green beetle. I mean, if they're smart enough. Alright, now that they've all stacked together and they won't leave anybody behind, the snake will ambush it and then. Or the spider will ambush it. And it will die. Now they'll go over here. Oh, they got a hold of him. Damn. expecting they're very hurt though Jesus that was close oh, more green beetles as I can see I'll probably pull these back and wait for a um, wait some for some food There we go, this should work. See, they're finally coming to feed on this, and since we've already got most of it, don't really need to worry about it. Now, this green little guy, he's probably going to fuck some shit up, but he won't last long with the amount of reinforcements that we have. Here's a good thing about going in here, though. If an enemy like the green beetle comes by while they're in here, they will all come out and attack it. And it will have the first attack. It will have the first bite. Which is really, really fucking nice. Um, and I, I promise that if, if you can get this... Oh, that's a problem. Um, I promise that if you have about 15 to 20 of these guys and you just run over here... We got some good food stock out of. We should be able to make quick work of the green guys. But they are still um, annoyingly difficult at first. I mean, without the buff as well, it's so... Terrible. I think I promise that buff is really needed. Now, what I'm going to do here... Probably unethical, but I'm going to split a group. That way I can have two groups working at two spots simultaneously because of the eventual frogs that are coming out. They come out at night and they're very overwhelming. Very overwhelming. So you want to try and complete this campaign as fast as you can, but don't take too fast. Don't like try to take it like you're trying to... S Suck down a milkshake that you got from McDonald's. Don't try and do it like that. Just take your time. 
because you're going to get a brain freeze. Promise. And it'll bite you in the ass later on. Um, we eventually will steal supplies from these guys as soon as they aggro onto us. We don't need to steal from them now because, A, they haven't aggroed on us. And the first guy that we're going to be stealing from is these guys, these black guys, these black ants. They will not, they are not deadly. They are not more of a pain in the ass than these guys are. They're just slightly annoying. But once you take out one colony, the other one will fold instantly. As the sun sets, the Here comes night. Will be picked off quickly. The ants should travel in numbers or not at all. So what we're gonna do is gonna head and feel this area right here. Go ahead and cut this path off right here. Now you do not you cannot dig into the these parts. Do not dig on this on the first night. You will get swarmed by a frog and your team, your colony, will die. I promise you it's happened to me twice. And if somehow your thing, colony does not die, you are like the most luckiest person I have ever met. A bombardier beetle, Brachinus altiolens, is hunting for insects outside the nest. It may seem unwise for it to wander so freely amongst the large amphibians that share... Now we're going to go ahead and collect these but supplies. Your ants are definitely going to get caught in the Venus flytrap. Um, your, your plants will definitely get caught in um, a Venus flytrap. But that's fine. You need to sacrifice some. Now... My advice is do not go near these at all until you have a big group. There's no point because it will eat your um A curious ant has ventured onto a Venus flytrap in search of nectar. If it brushes against the hairs on the open red tinged leaves, they will snap shut, encasing the ant in an ever tightening shell. There is no escape. As I was saying, will be slowly um until nothing more. If you put your ants in here, this liquid will kill them, and that guy will make sure it dies. Um, it is just not worth it. Oh, here comes the frogs, as you can see. They're coming in. At night, eastern Marinara's toads patrol above ground looking for food. Ants oh, make shit. Up 75% of their diet. Oh, we have one of these. The colony must stay alert. To make matters worse, they are excellent diggers. It's only a matter of time before one tunnels its way into the nest. They come in from all four locations. So you got one that will come from the top left, the bottom left, top, oh, excuse me, top right, and bottom right. Do not attack this frog until you've got this both of these colonies down. Don't even try. Your, your ants will... <laughs> they will die, I promise you. Um, now that we've got our colony up to 31, um, we're going to go ahead and move these guys in. Sacrifice a little bit of food. Now we got some speed on these guys. We should be alright. Just don't open this part. Do not open that part. Do not expand farther than it's got right here, and you should be okay. Now, if that's the case, now if I somehow screw myself, then... Oh, you can see my inevitable demise, and I will probably not put this video up. <laughs> um, this amount of ants should be good enough to cross this bridge right here, and this bridge. Um, but again, we're going to wait until the bullfrog... Oh, is the bullfrog coming in? I don't think he's coming in. Um, we're going to wait until the bullfrog uh, leaves basically um then we'll move into that and take that over i should probably wait oh that can't cancel that that sucks um your best tool of getting food is this right here they will come after this colonies will come after this as soon as theirs is empty so 
I mean, technically, you could probably live out forever on this, but I, I'm not really sure. I haven't, like, made 100% sure of it, but it's better just to um, start with this one first, start with these two first, and then move on to that. Because then you can support yourself because these ants will come over and attack you now that, you, that you'll take that. But by that point, I mean, you've already got 7, 14... Um, and plus what you've got here, so that's 17, which is really, really good. Now, no colony should mess with you at this current point. Come on, get in there. There you are. My little, um, queen colony. Come on. This should open this up. We'll waltz right in there like we own the place. There they go. See, this is why you do not want to tunnel into it the it first night. In the next. By the way, the bullfrogs, they do not give much food at all. They do not. It's really, really not worth it. Let's see. How much food is that going to give me? Don't worry about upgrading, by the way, until you've at least got this and that and that. Only the great bullfrog remains. She sits patiently on her throne, waiting for the next. Let's meeting. see if we can cross this. Hmm. Did we get into a fight? Thought we did. Well, let's make sure these guys are not on a on gathering mode, just in case they wander by and try to want to eat this. I've had it happen before. Not very smart. Now, this little critter, he'll jump down and try to kill him, and don't worry, we'll exterminate him. At least I think we might be short of a few ants. Yep, there they go. And with the buff, it will take this guy out. Look at that. Easy. A rat mantidfly, Climatella brunea, has descended from her perch into the path of the ants. Unrelated to true mantids, her spiked raptorial forelegs are a perfect example of convergent evolution. Now, these guys won't get mad at you for. Oh my god. The ants have set upon a green leaf spider, Pucetia viridans. She prefers to hunt on pitcher plants, but out in the open, she loses her advantage. I haven't had that happen. However, when threatened, she can I've never seen her come down. Centimeters from her fangs. So that's pretty interesting, actually. Holy shit. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing to this one. What a bitch. Why would you do that? Um... Now, of course, they're going to end up fighting with the this guy and then this beetle here. We're going to go ahead and kill the beetle. Now, you'll encounter a few of these down in the uh, down in the core here at this spot. Beetle, Enocleris rosmalis, has been disturbed by the ants. It has the same ravenous appetite and slicing jaws as its juvenile counterpart. But now paired with thick armor plates, it represents a far greater danger to the colony. Now, you could have done this other one because this one just, uh, I guess he's the one that comes down automatically without you crossing. I thought he comes down when you cross, but we've just made sure that he doesn't. So, going to turn off the food gathering because otherwise they'll try to eat this plant. And then, no bueno, we lose, you know, fire guys for no reason. Go ahead and make another one. Now what you want to do is try to expand this out right here. That way your workers or your little these little guys right here. I don't know why I pointed toward the food. But they can work on this faster. Eventually these uh, workers will be replaced by the backbone, the by the Malay the guys. There's not enough food to feed the Wow, you motherfuckers, really? 
Now it takes a while for this bridge to uncross itself, but could be no issue. What we're going to do now is go and kill this guy because he's annoying. And then we're going to go back inside. We're going to go ahead and work into here. Get the food. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, we've already experienced with the beetle, so he's pretty easy to take out. Uh, the only problem really is, is that we're going to be taking out three of them. Now, I probably wouldn't do it now, but if I could, I think I will, just because I'm greedy. <laughs> um, or I could just go down and attack, attack this right here. Um, I don't know if they'll leave me alone with a big group down here. I know they'll definitely not like it, that's for sure. They'll definitely hate me for it. Um, let's go ahead and get this expanded. Now, you don't have to follow this guide, like, 100%. Well, it's not really a guide, it's more of a play, but you don't have to follow it. But definitely keep things in mind. Um, you almost never want to um, attack them direct on these guys here. You don't want to do that. It's not worth it. It's pretty suicidal. There are mm. in the net. These guys are packing a punch. But now we've got that speed buff and the damage buff coming from these guys, so these guys should be taken out within like two seconds now. That's figured, yeah. Um, sick. I'm just going to go ahead and build down in here. Grab this food while we can. Now what I did for my first playthrough is I took this and then they eventually went over and started attacking me and that's when I just went full swing on t and took this right from their reach basically. Took it right from them and then they started getting pissed. I think I did it when their first raid started to happen so which should be here in a little bit actually. Food storages are full. This should be big enough to take down this part right here. The workers have done all they can to improve these food stores. Now, you do not want to <coughs> extend into this area. Do not extend into this area whatsoever. Do not get rid of this wall. Do not. Whatever you do. Do not. Do not. Do not. Alright. Now, we're going to go take this. Ain't no one going to stand in our way. Gonna go ahead and get a little more workers there. More food storage there. Man, this guy's annoying, isn't he? We're coming in really slow. Yeah, that speed boost will definitely be 
very helpful. Now we could yoink their stuff right here, but then they would get very, very, very angry. Hmm. I forgot, there's a guy that comes down through here. I think I just never paid attention to him the first time, so he wasn't really like the boss. See, now they're going to try and, like, threaten us, but then we're going to realize, oh, they're not really harming us, everything's fine. And then, voila, there we go. Now, what your customer will also want to do is expand here. Get a whole new fire colony there. Oh, I just yoinked that, and I was not supposed to. Yeah, now they're going to be very angry. These guys should be coming to wage war on us at some point. Uh, you you weren't supposed to do that. Um. <laughs> oh. Oh no. And eh, we'll see what happens. No, well, not a whole lot they could do, right? Now, obviously, we could get more aggressive. But um, we should be able to have enough to take out this plant right here. Mm -hmm. There she is. The battle has begun. There's multiple of these things. Holy shit! The colony is starving. There is not enough food. Oh my god! That's the most unfortunate timing. Um, can we pull back? Once again, dust sets in. Holy shit. Soon, the sandy undergrowth will be teeming with salamanders, toads, and nocturnal beetles. See, that's a problem. Because now my colony is down. And the frogs are going to be coming shortly. Let's see if we can go take that guy. For some extra food. Oh, of course. They're going to try and attack this plant. And they're going to get killed. Just like that. The ants have been attracted to secretions of nectar produced by a yellow pitcher plant. In order to feed, however, the ants must position themselves precariously over See. a deep vat. A whole, of all of them just pretty much just died right there. On the rim ensure that any ant that steps too far in won't be stepping out again. Um, we assigned the workers back to the core, so they can get this population back up because frogs are going to be coming, and we don't like frogs. Um, next day we're going to take this out, this out. And this out and this out for food the workers have done all they can to improve these food stores code arrival 20 seconds oh I'm surprised they did not put up a fight though Last time when I did it, they put up a hell of a fight. They did not like us taking that, so they instantly started a war on us. Um, but it's fine. Here they come. That's coming in through here. So he should be coming up battle because he'll come right through here. He will not. He will not go this way. He will go straight up. Um, this guy won't bother you, but the one that comes through here and here will totally attack. This one, not so sure of. I don't think he does. I think he breaches it on the third night. Shouldn't have to worry about him. So, I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yep, here comes this guy. This guy shouldn't bother us. Yep, here they come. A narrow-mouthed toad has burrowed into the nest. It may be small for a toad. But its appetite for ants is insatiable. Secretions from its skin burn any that manage to escape its projectile tongue. 
here he comes. And now we just let him come to us. Because there's really no big point of him come, uh, us coming to him. Because he'll just barrel through. And who cares, right? <clears throat> um, let's go. The battle has begun. Again, he's a difficult bitch to take out. Nope, here they come on this side too. Your intruders in the nest. This guy should be taken out relatively fast. And he's dead. Now what I did, um, I'm going to go ahead and sign this colony up here. Now what I did was I, um, after I took this colony out, I took its aphid, well, I took its aphids first. They came back and retaliated, of course, and then we went down in the core and we had a big fight together. I then instructed pretty much all of my workers, I think even before that, I instructed all of my Malay workers to work on this because it was a lot faster. And unfortunately, that's what we're going to do now. So we can get some extra food in. But eventually, these guys will go back to the core. They'll start working on these guys, and everything will be fiddly dandily fine. completely done now these guys are gonna love that food yummy 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 they should go ahead and expand this part right here Me that little bit more food. There you go. Sick. The swamp amphibians, the nighttime feast is over. Toads give way to tiger beetles, and the ant colonies step up their activities. If the fire ants are to stand any chance of establishing a long lasting empire, they must grow quickly. There is no time to waste. Do not let this guy intimidate you whatsoever. You, do, you have plenty of time. He's completely lying. And this guy will not go into our core at all. He'll just run back to his lonely self because he's lonely. And no one loves him. So now what we're going to do, unfortunately, probably going to go over to the black colony here in two minutes and take all their goodies. And as soon as we get this food, we'll literally go take their aphids and then see if we die or something. Which we might. I have no idea. Now we're only taking their aphids, we're not going inside of their column. But uh, they're going to be very angry. Oh, here they come. They're very angry with us already. As you can see. So, this is an act of war. <clears throat> as you already know. Coming over and stealing their food. Act of war. The fire ants have encountered a tribe of Monomorium Minimum Black Ants. 
These tiny little ants may seem feeble, but the Invicta colony would do well to treat them with caution. Although primarily no. scavengers, they are you don't need to treat them with chemical secretions and have been known on occasion to invade bioant nests. Promise you do not need to treat them with caution. They are harmless. Unless you get into their colony and then it's not very harmless anymore. Let's see how angry these guys get when we bring the whole team. Fortunately, I was gonna say that does not look like my whole team. Also, my guys look very small. So, we're about to, like, have the battle of the whole nine yards in, like, two seconds. This could end either very well, or this could end superbly awful. I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> As you can see... Not a problem. And we go steal their aphids, <clears throat> transport that back to our colony, and then we go back home. Because we're nice guys. Holy shit. I am going to upgrade just a little bit before we send our men in there. See, here they come. That's fine. They're not going to do much. You just set them right here. And... Uh-huh. I'm aware. Now we're going to wait for our food to stockpile up a little bit. And then we'll move in on their thing. And see what happens, which we could inevitably die, actually. But uh, hopefully it doesn't come to that. We've already stole pretty much all of their aphids, so they're not... Um, aphids, right? Yeah. So they're not really happy. Alright. I think we have just enough, so let's take it on. Now, hopefully these big guys leave us alone for a little bit while we deal with our business. Like screen little plant thing. Well, he's not a plant. Not take their food. Here for war. As long as we can drain out their resources really fast, then we'll be good. Alright, let's do this. Um. Now the queen is going to be over here and she's going to be heavily guarded by all of these guys as you can currently see. Uh, we might win just yet. Oh no, it really depends because they keep summoning more. But as long as we can block them from getting into their main area there, then we should be straight. Now we're repopulating very fast. We're just about to win. Come on, baby. Get in there. Now you will get a massive ton of supplies, so please prep your food your food carefully now I am already gonna go ahead and expand so I just know how much is gonna be in there we won throughout the little black ants fought to the last to defend their queen now the Invicta colony will enjoy the spoils of war defenseless larvae from the vanquished colony will be carried home and fed to the victor's own hungry brood Already collected from that. Move that team over there. 
They've already backed with new supplies already. Holy shit. Yeah, it's just fucked. That over there. Go ahead and upgrade these tiles. Now, I obviously do not trust myself right now in this current stage of uh, attack. Oh, wait, we don't need. Huh. Didn't even make him feed. <laughs> My bad. But um, I don't trust myself to take on this group yet because of the big-headed ants that they have. It's pretty fucking deadly, I will say. They are very gnarly. They stun your enemies, and I think they push them. They stun your things. Oh my god, really, dude? They stun them, and they push them back. Dude, honey, why are you so annoying? This team is done. Now is the time that you should probably start upgrading. Now on the third upgrade, the um, it will produce more than one ant. It'll give you two ants instead of just one, which is really fucking nice. Even in small numbers, the fire ants are menacing, but in large numbers, they are virtually unstoppable. Yeah, they need to make it a reference to it. If you upgrade them, you know, you get a fuck ton of shit, and he's right. You get an extra ant. The battle has begun. What are we fighting? This little green thing? annoying now they don't give you more damage on the third tile it's not like significant but you get that extra hand which means pretty much everything which is why we're upgrading right now all right that's the that entire colony taken care of now we're just going to take this plant and eat it See how many of our guys die. An ant has fallen victim to your carnivorous plans. Huh, most of these guys are dying. But as you can see, there's a... Yeah, not really worth it. It's more loss than it is gain, really. You might as well just stick to your aphid part right here. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade these tiles right here. Um. Night approaches. Oh, here comes the toads. Of the day give way to their nocturnal counterparts. Now what we're going to do is put a... Battles must be chosen wisely. Spread too thin, the fire ants could find themselves quickly overwhelmed. Yeah, so here it comes where the dangerous guys come in. This is going to be a feisty night. But as soon as you can get through this third night, then nothing else matters. I promise you. Nothing will matter as soon as you get this one done. Get this night, everything will work out in the end for you. Now we're going to keep these guys at the core now that we have um all 122 uh guys exactly sitting at the aphid pot. Now we're going to sit here until night happens. Frogs we're not going to go out and attack these guys until morning. Now, do you remember when you go and attack these guys, you go and attack them, they will start making their, their clone. They will start making it, they will start mass producing it, and they are not fun to be around. 
but if I say that if you can overwhelm them, like as soon as we get these aphids from them, they should be hardly any threat, really. And I have no idea where these toads are coming in from, so we're going to switch these back. We're going to carry this ant colony here. I'm going to put them down in the core. Now, I haven't added any because I don't really know what to expect on this night. I don't know how many toads are coming, but I know there's going to be a fuck ton of toads. And we're not going to have such a wonderful time of the year dealing with these guys. This guy is going to break through. If they break through on this night. This guy, I'm going to guess about five toads. Five, six toads. And they're going to be difficult to deal with. I mean, I'm already counting two. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. I mean, two right there. This one's going to be coming in shortly. This one's coming in. I mean, we're going to be fighting on all fronts here. So you can see. I'm going to send this team to here. We got one more guy coming through here. He's gonna break right here. In the nest. The larvae must be protected. So prepare for it. So by pulling all of these guys back. At least he should break through. Maybe he won't. Maybe not. I guess he won't. Damn it, I accidentally toggled that one again. I hate that noise, man. That noise is just vile. So now we're going to work our way down in here. To here. Now since there's not really a danger, I'm going to put the group down here, and these guys can go outside and manage that aphid thing. Now these guys should be coming to fight us pretty shortly, pretty soon. She's dead, we don't have to worry about her. But as long as we keep this protected, we'll be just fine. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must, must be, be protected. protected. My bad. Stay here. Sorry about that. Now we're going to go ahead and upgrade again. Now I did expand these for a reason. Because you're going to need it. Trust me. For the fro the big guy. You're going to need it. And for the upgrades as well, because you're going to be spamming food right through here. Like how much food you get from this other colony is absolutely ridiculous. Alright, let's get that one worked through. Saving out another night of attacks, the Invicta colony once again proves its strength. Despite this victory, there is yet one obstacle that stands in its way. Ever present, the bullfrog looms over the ants. The beast must be defeated. Yes, I'm currently aware of this. Thank you for rubbing it in my face. Okay, now we're going to assign these guys back to core. Then these guys are going to take over. They're going to take over that upstairs farm. And we no longer need for these workers anymore. Let's see, what does this one colony belong to? Okay. Now this is the most you can upgrade in this position. 
Now, eventually, after we take down this group, I completely remove this food pile. Now, you can remove it now if you really want to. You don't have to, but I keep it there just to separate this group from this group. That way I can farm this um, and then farm the aphids while the other group's attacking, so... said I was going to make a new colony here and here we are. This will be the group that assaults the other colony. Actually no, it'll be the ones that stay. Um, this one stays with the um, the group down. This is the one that fucking stays up top. Basically. I'm sorry, I, I keep getting ahead of myself. This one will farm the aphids because it's not upgraded, and these guys are. Now these guys are complete, almost nearly completely done with the food. How much farther do we have on that food, my man? Just one more guy and we're good. Sick. Are you gonna take it? Thank you. So I'm gonna switch this group back over. Now these, the fire ants and big headed ants have met in their fourth skirmish. See, just right on time. The new danger, the Morisi colony responds by awakening ancestral super soldier genes in selected brood. There you go. Them until their heads are engorged with muscle. There you go. Now, we're going to go take their aphids because act of war. And there's absolutely nothing they are going to do the to stop us. Ants now have a super soldier caste to justify their name. At huge economic cost to the colony, these frenzied champions have been raised for one purpose, to crush the fire ants. Now again, we're going to take their aphids, and there's nothing they can do about it. I'm going to bring them back home. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to go take their other plant. Like I said, nothing they can do about it. Now let's work on upgrading this portion right here. Because this is going to be the raiding party as well. We need to do it before the night hits. Because we're going to need a lot of brood. From what? what is there? Oh, from the little tiny spider. Bro, we could launch a full-scale assault on that spider and you would just not stand a chance. Now, theoretically, they should stop bothering us right now. And we're going to go yoink the rest of their supplies because we're jerks. And that's how the whole world works. No, 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 no. Do not. Yeah, make sure this is off. Has fallen victim to a carnivorous plant. No, we have about 150 in this group, so it should take care of these guys pretty easy. These guys are really the gnarly ones. They suck fighting because they stun you and they suck. But with this big size of a forest, I don't think they'll do much, but they'll definitely hurt. And they have see, and they have a crap ton of health compared to us. Did I just get spider whipped? I did. Huh. Now climb back your other plant. Climb it up, man. Climb it up. And then we just take their stuff, and then we go right back home. Because we're jerks.
Now, I could, you could probably launch a full scale assault at these guys right now, but I'm gonna wait mostly because just a little bit, because I want about 500 food before I do it. Just to be safe rather than sorry. Um, because that's just me, and these guys are gonna go die, but that's completely fine. Now we have those aphids. We should be getting a lot. Now you should get a total of 50 when you bring these in. Uh, I think. Could be wrong. I'm not really sure. I think you get about 50. See, now they're getting angry. Now they're coming over. And they're going to realize that they're out of food soon. And that's perfectly fine. Because we won the battle. Now they're going to find other means to get food. Because very angry. Um. Like I said, I'm waiting for that 500 mark before I push in. Now, these guys are going to continue sending attacks, but it won't do enough where it's like, oh no, like, we're, we won't ever reach that 500 mark, I promise you will. The amount of food that you get from this, yeah, you'll get it. So here we are at that 500 mark. I'm going to wait a little minute to send here they are bringing in a whole ass force i think i'm gonna do it now because why not they've caused us enough trouble am i right got about 600 looks like as long as these guys can keep up and start helping the nurseries which is a 19 it should go over swimmingly like by repairing the brood making sure there, there's eggs and stuff should be good to go. Why are you guys going this way? There's... I mean, okay, I guess. I think this group is about to get completely slaughtered. Nope! Ha! <laughs> okay. they are about to join up forces now we got 700 in the pot this is looking really good for a start a wingless parasitic wasp does he need to oh, a wasp more commonly known as the red velvet ant the wasp is more annoying than anything it's not it's it's better off to leave alone because of that stinger we're in the core now. There she is. Now these broods are going to be very delicious. Because they don't have food. They're completely out. So it's a great time to strike. This is going to be so much food for us. She is dead. In the end, they could not stand up to the might of the Invicta army. There we go. Like I said, hardly any food. So they they could not fight. Now this might have proven a bit more challenging if they had food. Because these bullheaded guys, man, they are intense. I'm telling you. Intense, man. They do not play games. They are very uncomfortably deadly now they should like try and go back here thank you I swear i can hear it ticking but i'm not really sure um let's see bring that in Sun sets, oh shit. Begin to emerge Here comes the frogs. Crevices near the water's edge. Lone invertebrates will be picked off quickly. The ants should travel in numbers or not at all. Now I'm going to go ahead and assign a group here and keep my group underground. 
or at least in this group. Um, let's see. the true bombardier to ward off potential predators and its mimicry isn't simply visual wow just it's like that spray defensively from its abdomen in this case the fluid of choice is the familiar formic acid now oh, they're bringing in heavy stuff for us i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade here then, then with the, the new stuff that I'm going to be bringing in, I'm going to make a completely new regimen of brood right here. That'll help us fight off the um, the other colony, of course. Now this stuff will never despawn, but it is better to get it while you can. Because the code arrivals soon. And then in the morning, I think we'll be able to take out his entire this his entire frog. Should. You know, if everything, you know, goes well, I would suppose. Let's go ahead and push this group back into here. Now this group is definitely the one that keeps wandering in and out. It's definitely gonna be fighting with the frogs inside. They'll definitely be keeping the frog safe, or they'll keep be keeping the queen relatively safe, um, because they'll just be coming in and out, because they'll be going up to the food dispensary. Oh, sorry, wrong one. They'll be going up to the food dispensary right here, dropping off food, and then we'll probably get countered by these guys right here if they decide to barrel out. Yep, there she goes. Hey. Stop destroying that. Split them back. Send the group this way to deal with this frog, but I think he's going to win that one. So yeah, they completely won that. I figured as much. Fortunately, these frogs are clearly no match. American Bullfrog has about half health. And once we deal with these guys, go down and make our mark in history on this guy right here. And then we'll send that colony back. There we go. As I said, I'm going to build a new team. Right here. This will be really good. Let's move these guys back to the front. Frogs are done, dealt with. Then we'll have to eventually kill this son of a bitch. Basically.
And with this, we're pretty much done. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get them to harvest that really quick. What are you fighting? Oh, one of these alien guys. Okay. Alright, then we're gonna move this here and then we're gonna get ready to take on take on the frog. Now we probably won't take everything from here. I mean, unless they just do. It just seems to be like that. Okay, so we're looking good. Looks like we got about 200 um around 200 ants which is really good I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the front yeah it's about 214 should be ready to attack this thing right now honestly So I say, go ahead and do it. Now don't send your units right away. Um, just have them marked outside of here. Make them sit out here and make them all gather. Otherwise you're just going to be sending ants one by one by one by one and that's not fun. You'll get your ant colony swall uh, swallowed that way. You just won't have anything left. I mean, obviously, you'll have a fuck ton of food to fall back on, but, you know, your units will... The ants must fight. They'll die pretty quick. Now, since you've got a nice large force, send them up. Make sure they all die. I mean, make sure... I mean, not us, you know. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> have mounted their first attack upon the great American bullfrog leader baits Skeptilianus. The brave frontline soldiers are quickly not just like that we wait they must surround and swarm the enormous creature to stand any chance of defeating it there's nothing special you need to do not at all you just send them they'll do their job. Ow. All right, it is dead. Now you have an amphibian arrival in 60 seconds. Here they come. So move all of your units. Move all of your units to the queen. As fast as humanly possible. Because you've got... Where is he? Oh, that's the spider. you got frogs coming in. And they will hit you from every direction on the ground. But as long as you keep a good lid around her, she should be safe. And these guys can just stay as farming outside. And then you get plenty of supplies. So now we just watch the second battle.
Again, don't move your units because it's better just to keep them surrounded your queen. That's all that matters is your queen. <laughs> Instantly swallowed, man. Now, this may look like a lot, but I promise you it is not a lot. Luckily, these guys don't eat larvae. Or we would have a completely different problem. Look at all of those frogs, man. Wowies. You know what happens to all those frogs? They suffer a terrible, terrible fate, since that's pretty much all the amphibians, I think. And most of them are just hornets and other rodents. And that's it. You've pretty much won in about an hour. Now we're going to take that extra food because we're going to need it for the uh, formication challenge. So make sure that you only get food. You do not need jelly. I promise you, you will need the food, not jelly. Do not get the jelly. You do not need jelly anymore. I promise you, jelly will not help you with this formication challenge. All right, so I'm going to give you the next campaign mission in the next video, so you guys stay tuned and be sure to watch that one. Peace.